Vendors around the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation were issued with notices to move by tomorrow. The notice was signed by City Engineer Carl Von Venture and was issued on May 2nd. Now this is not sitting well with the vendors who say this is taking bread out of their mouths and will have a devastating effect on their livelihood. Brother is that they didn't even give us a time. They just come and serve us yesterday and notice that we have to move tomorrow. So what's going to happen to our children? We alone feeling it here, you understand? And this is what that, these people don't understand, that when you put us out of bread, how we children going to go to school, how we going to live, how we going to pay our bills? We feeling it out here, bro. The staff at GPHC depend on us. Even them staff don't, the paycheck and credit them back through the month, and a lot of them is come, credit is tough. And I, I have three children, a nine months baby, and one going to school. So it's very hard for us. I don't know what it could do, but it's hard for us right now, for all the vendors out here. Oh, you must feel about it, but it's no livelihood that we're going to live. I can't go until I've done a big man, we're going to go. There's no livelihood. It's bad. They could set something better, but you just can't come and tell people today, move tomorrow. No, you can't do it. You can't treat with someone. You can't even work properly. You understand me? You know what is one people going to do? Much money you going to thief. I mean, you're a thief. You got to hustle right here. The movie, we come with cat and push up and down. Up and down the street being pushed. If you got artists here and we want for here, well, then this is the result of it. But we still got to survive. You know, we trying, we trying because we actually hold this band out, eh? I doubt it, but you will talk to something here, friend. How do you feel about this move? Well, we were warned before. We were warned before if you don't conduct yourself, this is going to be the result of it. It is sad, but there's nothing I can do. Huh? I don't know where to put in. The vendors are asking for time and for alternative arrangements to be put in place. I'm supposed to give you a notice to move even a week or two months or something. They can't come and give you a letter just for move two days. This is bad. And got to find somewhere for we go. Seven years I'm selling out there. So. And then just yesterday we see a letter come to me. And then it said on May the 4th you're going to move, but come on man, everybody got kids, we got kids, this is we honest doll we're looking for, at least even if you are moving us, you need to find place to put us. You understand, we just can't come and move we, and then you don't got nothing for putting we pocket or anything. You understand me? And I think that they should look into it because remember now, we got kids, this is we, this is we honest doll and this is we daily meal to make us, we kids right. I mean, they could have give them a little time and say, well, look, i give you all two weeks or something. So we're going to locate you all to this direction or something, give you all something. And taking bread out of people's mouths and kind of give them anything. Let me don't care about the big people right now. Let me think about the kids. Let me think about them. So. The area stretches from Thomas to East Streets. And this was not the first time that vendors were told to keep the area clear. This area is used as the emergency entrance to the hospital. And oftentimes, the area is crowded. While the vendors appear to be the problem, vehicles are parked on both sides of the street and even on the no parking signs. The vendors who sell in the parking lot on East Street were not issued with any notices.